the community of Altoona is officially saying goodbye to summer and hello to fall this weekend. It's that time. Saturday is their fall family festival. We find local fives Larissa Millis live in Altoona this morning with some of the event organizers. Exciting. Good morning, Larissa. Good morning, guys. Yeah, all summer Altoona has been celebrating Carnival, which celebrates the agriculture history of the area and now they're going to be ushering in the harvest season with a fall family festival behind me is actually one of the main attractions of that event a giant corn maze and i'm actually here with rachel simon one of the event organizers good morning rachel thanks for joining us good morning thank you for having us so let's just start can you tell me a little bit about carnival and kind of where the idea to have that came from Yes, so in Altoona we have an Arts and Culture Commission which is made up of appointed um, residents of our community. And so one of them, Alex Payne, discovered that this year is the 100th anniversary of hybrid seed corn planting in America. And it happened right here in Altoona, actually right in the area where the corn maze is planted. So we know how important hybrid seed corn is for Iowa and America. So we decided why not go all in and celebrate and we've been doing it all summer long. And what were some of the things going on this summer for that celebration? Yes, so we kicked everything off. We've got 20 over five foot tall corn statues. So local artists um, were chosen to decorate those. They painted them. We unveiled them on the 4th of July at Haynes Park. And then since then, we've had a cornhole tournament. We've had uh, Liz Garst of Garst Seeds did a speech at the library. We've been involved. We've had our convoy out at Ragbri. We've had it at Altoona Palooza. So we're capping everything off with our harvest season, like you said. And what's going to be going on during this fall family festival? Yes, so this Saturday at Intrinsic Ag in North Altoona, um, we have our fall family festival from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So we have a lot of free fun for the family, including the corn maze. There's an inflatable pumpkin painting while supplies last. Um, there's also going to be food trucks and a farmer's market um, to for with items available to purchase. Lots of lots of fun events. Definitely be a fun time for people to come check out this weekend. Larissa, you get all the fun stories. Hey, <laughs> you mentioned a corn maze, right? For someone <laughs> like me, um, uh -huh. how long do you think this is going to take someone to get through it? So the corn maze is about it, the maze itself is almost eight and a half to nine acres so it's a pretty big corn maze i think we had some of the overhead shots playing there and it's going to take anywhere from 45 minutes to about an hour to complete so it's going to be kind of a challenge for some people so if you're up for that definitely something to come check out all right larissa thank you